When Einstein died, his head was popped open and his brain was taken out so that scientists could analyze this amazing, brilliant man and his brain that changed the way we look at physics. Now they took photographs of the brain and then they cut it into 240 slices so that they could analyze the brain in more detail. And 14 newly discovered photos have been revealed that show that Einstein's corpus callosum which is the largest nerve fiber bundle that plays a vital role in transferring data between the left and right hemispheres, was larger and more powerful than the average human corpus callosum. In this chart, comparing Einstein's callosum thickness to older men and men age 26, which so happens to be Einstein's age when he published his infamous Anus Mirabilis articles that revolutionized physics and our conceptions of space, time, mass, and energy, Einstein's thickness tops the charts from the front of the brain, the rostrum, to the back of the brain, the splenium. And if you think that's incredible, the corpus callosum only explains a fraction of Einstein's extraordinary intelligence. He also possessed an exceedingly high ratio of glial cells, which are the protectors of neurons in the brain, and had a prefrontal cortex of extraordinary size. So not only could Einstein look at math and space differently than the rest of us, his brain could work out the problems and experiments that he could only think of, with an efficiency that only he possessed.